Hi, my name is George, or today I'm going to be Ranger Net VR. Uh, that's my game name thingy, I guess. And I'm going to show you how to fix the stuttering in uh, Half-Life Alyx. Now, this is important, so maybe don't skip. Uh, for me, the stuttering did not stop even after I did uh, interesting things like, uh, for example, putting in certain things into the start of, of the game like uh, you, could, you could write down things how the game should start in Steam didn't fix anything I uploaded all the recent GPU updates didn't do anything I I, I downloaded uh, GeForce game experience that set my game to the, the best optimized uh, settings didn't do anything. I reinstalled Windows and reinstalled the game obviously on a clean computer. Didn't do anything. I even read that someone went as far as taking apart their PC and putting new cooling paste on their processor, processor, bleh, that thing, and then putting it back together and it didn't fix anything for them either and honestly I, I was at that level I was like I think I'm just gonna take the computer apart and I'm just gonna clean it because it's uh, one year old in two months but that wasn't the problem the problem is software there's nothing wrong with your headset hopefully there's nothing wrong with your uh, controllers it is purely a software problem that you have it's a stutter or it seems like a frame loss there's one thing sure it's gonna make you sick like it it made me sick i mean i never threw up but i was close so what you're experiencing is kind of an overlay uh there is steam vr and there are certain things that have to be on while you are in vr like while you're in the game uh, there are things that are running which is fine because uh, for example, to be able to play this game, you need like 16 gigs of RAM. So your RAM should be fine. Like CPUs should be good. Whichever is going to run this game, it should be good. It's fine. It, it doesn't even matter if it's at like a 90 whatever percent. Obviously, your GPU should be able to handle Half-Life Alyx. Not just VR, but Half-Life Alyx. When you start the game, Steam VR and your room setup in your Steam VR is obviously gonna overlay the game which you don't see until you go to the wall like you go really close to your walls um, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about so I'm just gonna turn on my VR okay welcome to amateur hour where I uh, knock over my microphone and do things that I'm not supposed to um, so I'm first of all I'm gonna put down OBS from my screen and this is Steam VR this is always open for you and you can see that everything is tracking my headset. My headset is actually in standby, but that doesn't matter. So you click on these and you go to settings because you need to go into Steam VR settings. Uh, your setup is going to show that your advanced settings are probably hidden. So turn them on because you kind of need that. And then go to play area and uh, so your distance from the wall, like when you when you set up your room, you like you kind of think like hopefully you think like I thought that okay, so this is the the side of my room, this is where I don't want to go, this is where I don't want to punch my controller into. Now that distance is gonna set to at least 70 centimeters, which is a little bit just a tiny tiny little bit more than two feet. Who the hell has two feet distance? from all the walls in their home like and also why would you need two feet uh but whatever uh, my room is set up so i can move around because like I'm, I'm i like playing vr but apparently i'm unable to stay still if you stay still you're luckier than i am but i'm i can't so i'm moving around but 70 centimeters two feet is a little bit too much even for me so I took that down to like 0.26 centimeters which is a little bit less than uh, a feet because it's perfect for me 
I still don't bump into anything, and I, I am still safe from a safe distance from everything in my room. Now, the next thing that I did is the grid. Like, I put the grid down to a medium uh, size, but I, I don't know if that's anything to do with it. I thought maybe I just need less grid lines. Uh, and then the next one is video. Uh, this is why you need to turn on your advanced settings, because I think the per application video settings is not going to show up for you. So when you click on that, uh, you can see that Half-Life Alex is active for me. This is my basic settings. Uh, this is what the game sets itself up to. And this is what my video card or I don't know, something sets up the video card for this. I have a 1660 Super. And when I had the game uh, as a new game, like brand new, everything was brand new. It was running flawlessly. And that's why I thought this is probably not my fault. So I just left it like that because I know that the computer and everything else can handle it. When I turn on my task manager, more details, you can see that my performance is uh, acceptable. Like I'm using half of the RAM. Uh, the CPU doesn't even, doesn't even go up like above 50%. Uh, Everything is fine. My GPU is like nothing at this point. It, obviously, if I'm playing the game and if I'm surrounded by enemies, it's a little bit higher, but it shouldn't go up more than like 80% GPU and 95% CPU. I do have a CPU bottleneck, but that's why I have these settings. And um, the next thing that you have to set up is, I don't know if Steam, Home, Steam VR Home is responsible for this but if in any case if it's running in the background you don't need it to be running on a hundred percent resolution so I just took it down to 78 because I can still see it um, I don't need to have that on max I might put it back to uh, max resolution one day I don't know if it's uh, any uh, point in it but you know maybe maybe but What's really important is this Steam VR room setup. You take that thing down. You take that thing down to the lowest point that you you think it's good. I, I only took it down to 54%. But if you are still having glitches, just take it down to the minimum. Because the grids are still going to show up. You don't need to see the grids perfectly. You just need to see the grids. Uh, you just need to see that you're actually bumping into your wall. So if you take that down to the lowest settings, uh, it should definitely solve your problem because this glitch is caused by Steam VR room setup because that's basically overlaying your game. You can't see it until you go close to your wall. And this is why it's happening. How to fix that? I have no idea. But how to stop it causing you problems? This is how you do it. That's all. That's all you need to do. I haven't done anything else. And now my game is perfect. I don't run into problems. And uh, when I see the glitch, I also see the grids. So I know that, oh, OK, I'm too close to my walls or my shelf or breaking my ankles or wrists in my table. Or, uh, I don't know, headbutting my monitor or something. <laughs> and that's how you solve the problem of the glitch in your game. Well. I guess one of them. I don't know. I, I'm telling you, I've tried everything and all of those solutions, they didn't work. I completely reinstalled the computer. I completely reinstalled the game and uh, I just went back to my saved game because I thought, if this is a software, my saved game should be safe. It should be good. It should be working. And it is working because it's just a Fluffy. setting that was... I don't know, uh, set up too high, set up too wrong, um, set up badly, changed somehow because this happened after an update. But everybody thought that it, this happened after an update in the game. But what didn't really make any sense to me is that this happened in different times 
for people different people as well like uh i was like why is that like if if the game comes out with an update and then most people automatically update because eventually you, you need to update it what else is there that could wait as an update but still can cause a problem. And I was like, well, I guess there's Steam and your headset. So let's check those out. Someone somewhere made a problem in the programming and now Steam VR can't cope together with the Half-Life Alyx. And then it causes you glitches and stutters and it seems like it's a frame loss, but it's not exactly a frame loss. It's more like an overlap between the game and Steam VR room grid lines. If you're brave enough, you can turn off the grids. But I don't know about you. I don't like to run into my walls, <laughs> so I'm I'm not gonna turn it off. Uh, the other way is basically sitting down in a chair, but that's like half of VR. Um, if you're able to walk. I think you should be able to use the game fully. They need to patch it up eventually. Someone has to deal with it. Maybe they even are aware of this problem. They just didn't know how to do it. But until then, this is your solution. SteamVR needs to fix this because there's also like 15 other companies coming to their ground and taking it away. So guys, fix it because this is a problem. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, bye.